Okay, this is Young Family Tai Chi, Section 1 class. And today we are going, our new move is going to be left brush knee. So um, I'm going to do a review first and then we'll learn the new move. Okay, so, how? All right. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn around and I'm going to do uh, go from the beginning all the way through to white crane. And then we'll review white crane and then start a new move. Okay, so I'm going to turn around and go the same direction as you. Okay. Here we go. Prepare, relax, raise your head, lower your hips, hands by your sides, opening. Palms to the back, raise your hands up to the shoulder level and float down, leading with your elbows and come down almost to the bottom. Grasp the sparrow's tail, shift left warda, shift left, turn right, all the way down the right, step and close, swing and pull and turn to the side. Right warda, shift right, turn the left foot to the corner, all the way to the left, pull in, step and close, right ward off. Roll back, turn to the right. And when you reach the corner, turn to the other side, shifting your weight. Press, pull in the right, attach the left, expand forward. Push, square up your shoulders, flatten your palms, come back over a ball, hands in front of your chest, and push up to shoulder level. Single width, extend your hands as you shift weight back. Turn and pull. Press down, release the left foot, ward off with the left, hook hand with the right, Standing ward off, step, deflect, strike. Raise hands and step forward. Shift right, turn the left foot to the corner. Circle your arms, pull in the right foot, root the right heel and close. White crane spreads its wings. Turn your hands, pull down. Circle your arms, step and close, turn, step and open. How did that go? Are there any questions? So uh, a few things I want to review on, um, hi Eileen. Uh, on a uh, white crane and I'm going to do it uh, facing that way instead of that way. So if you are at raise hands and you are doing right crane, you are turning your hands and pulling down. And when you pull down, your elbow turns down and you step and close here. Then you shift your weight to the right, turn, step and open. Okay, so the turning is what shows the shoulder strike. And the other thing that shows the shoulder strike is the gaze, because when you start, you're looking that way. When you are pulling down, you're starting to look to the side. 
And then you look back to that corner as you step and close and you turn. So your gaze stays to the corner until your turn. Then your gaze turns to the front because while you were doing your strike, you're still looking that way. And then you do your open, okay? So uh, the other thing is you're going to reuse one of the moves from white print. And that is this swing. When you swing here, you essentially turn your elbow down and come up and then circle. You're going to reuse that technique on the right side today when you do left brush knee, okay? You're going to come down, your elbow is going to come down, and then your palm's going to go to the corner. The other thing that you're going to reuse from one of your previous moves is the stepping from um, a single whip. So when you did your stepping from single whip, what happened was that when you stepped to the bow stance, you, you did a standing ward off and you put your heel down. Then you did a deflect as you flatten your foot. And then when you bent knee, you did your strike. So I'm, you are going to reuse that gradual weight shift as you finish your um, bow stance, okay? So let's look at uh, left brush knee. I'm gonna do the whole thing in the same direction that you would be doing it, just so that you can get an idea of what the whole move looks like in the same direction. So you would be doing, um, uh, step forward here. Then you're doing white crane. And you end up here with an empty stance, ball touch empty stance. When you do left brush knee, it looks like this. Turn your hands, one up, one down, step. Okay, so if I do it toward you, here's what it looks like. If I'm at white crane, okay, I'm here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my hands. So this hand is facing me. It's like I'm looking at a mirror. And this hand is turning so the palm is facing that way. Okay, so the first thing is turn your hands. It's just like white crane in that way. You turn your hands first. Then if we look just at, well, let's just look at the footwork first. Okay, let's, because that's the simplest part. If you just look at the footwork, you're on the ball touch. Okay, left foot forward. All you're going to do is when you swing, you're going to widen heel, ball, toe, bend knee. And that's it. That's all the footwork there is. Okay. So from ball touch, widen your stance, heel, ball, toe, bend knee. Any questions on that? That's pretty simple, right? Now, hands. Let's do the right hand first. So I'm going to do it facing this way so you can see better. So when I'm here at the ball touch, okay, my hand is up here, right? Guarding my head. One is I'm going to turn so it 
it's like my hand is a mirror and I'm looking at it, right? Then I'm going to swing until the palm faces the corner. Now, how can it do that? Because if I just swing and keep my body shape, then I only get to here. I get to the corner by turning, okay? So when I'm here, I turn in order to get to the corner, okay? So you start here, you turn your hand so it's facing you, and you swing to this corner. So the hand is out facing the corner. Then your hand comes in to the, in front of your shoulder. And then it strikes forward. Okay, so if I'm doing it toward you, it would look like this. I'm here. I turn my hand so it's facing me. I swing to the corner. Then I come in. So my hand is in front of my shoulder and then I strike straight forward. So my striking spot is here, okay? I'm striking with the bottom of my palm, okay? So once again, I'm here, I turn. So my hand is facing me, swing. My, I'm looking at the corner where my hand, my palm is facing. Then I come back toward the front and my hand is front of my shoulder and then strike. So from the side, so you can see better here, hand facing me, swing to the corner, hand comes to the shoulder and then strike. So one of the things you should be careful when you have your hand come to your shoulder do not allow your, shoul your shoulder to come back here, okay? When you come back, your hand comes in front of your shoulder so that you can strike forward. So don't, don't come here and then come back here, okay? When, after you do your swing, when your hand starts coming to your shoulder, you're turning toward the front because you're striking toward the front, okay? So that the turning of your body allows you to keep this body shape, okay? When you turn here, your hand can go to the corner and you can still have this rounded shape. When you come back here, your body faces the front so that you can still have your rounded shape with your hand at your shoulder and strike forward, okay? So uh, if we do it with the footwork, you were at empty stance with a ball touch here. Okay. You turn your hand, you swing, and when you get to the end, you step. Then as your hand comes to the shoulder, you start shifting your weight forward. Flatten your foot, strike. So you're bending your knee as you strike. Can you see that? So the body turn and the weight shift all go together. So if you are at here and you turn your hand, you swing, step. Hand comes to the shoulder as you flatten your foot and start shifting your weight forward. Strike. So when you uh, 
when you swing, don't get too enthusiastic, okay? So when you're here and you swing, you're still leaning forward. Can you see that? Don't go back here, okay? So you're swinging, swing step. And then when, as you start shifting weight, strike. Now, are there any questions on that one? So let's look at what the left hand is doing, okay? The left hand, I am going to do facing you, okay? So when you started uh, here, okay, the left hand was in the same position as opening. Remember when you did opening? Your hand is almost at the bottom, kind of parallel to the floor. That's where your hand is when you're at White Crane. So when this hand turns so that you can look at it, this hand turns so that it's up and down. So the palm is facing that way, okay? So you were here, here, okay? So here, here. And why are you turning this way? Because your move for this hand is to come up and press down, okay? So when your hand was down here, you're turning it so that it gets ready to come up and press down, okay? So here, just like you were turning this to get ready to swing, you're turning this one so that the palm faces that way so that it can come up and press down. Okay. When it's coming up and pressing down, that's when the right hand is swinging. So when you were here, you turn your hands up, down. That's how the uh, coordination works, okay? So you're here, turn hands, swing, step. So basically, this is another kind of deflect. It's a pressing down, okay? So you make a circle up and a circle down. You see that? So it's symmetrical, sort of. This one's a little smaller. This one's a big circle, okay? So if you're starting here, turn hands. Then one up, one down, swing, step. So make sure you make a good circle. You are pressing down. So if you don't come up enough, you can't press down. If you make a little skimpy one, you're not gonna have much energy. So you're turning at the elbow, okay? So you're here, turn your hands, facing you, facing that side, then, Swing, step. Okay. Now, after you swing step, let's look at this hand again. You did your swing step. Then as you're shifting weight, what you want to do is what they call brush the table. You're going to move a circle forward and then come back to rest at the same spot. So if I'm doing it this, uh, this is the same uh, direction you would be, okay? So if I were here, okay, I turn, then here, 
When I'm here, swing step. As I flatten, I'm coming all the way out. I'm brushing out. And then I come back to my original position. Okay, so let's look at the left hand again. You were starting here, here. Then you turn. And then as you come up, the right hand is doing the swing, step. Shifting weight forward. And as you strike, this hand comes back to the original position. Can you see that? So if I do the whole thing toward you, what it looks like is this. Okay, I starting, I'm starting at white crane. I'm turning my hands, okay? Then I swing both arms, one up, one down, swing, step. One hand comes to the shoulder, the other comes out as I flatten my foot and shift weight forward. Then I shift my weight all the way forward. That is that my, I bend my knee. Okay. So I can still see my toes, but I've bent my knee. So if I'm going this way, I turn my hands, I swing, step, brush as I move my weight forward, strike. Okay, is it better if I do it the way that you do it? Maybe it's easier for you to follow. Then I'm not mirror imaged. So let, let, let me do it this way then. I'm here at White Crane. I turn my hands. I swing, step. Brush and bring my hand to the shoulder as I start switching weight and strike. Okay, any questions? The trick in terms of getting the energy going in this move is turning. Okay, so if I'm going this way, so you can see, I turn my hands and I am turning my body so that I can see that corner, then So the energy for your push comes off your back heel. So when I'm here and I turn and I swing step, I'm pushing off my back heel in order to get that strike. Can you see that? So that's why I, I should have a straight line from my shoulder all the way down to my heel because I'm going like this. Okay. But as always, make sure you don't go too far forward. Okay, you should still see your toes and your left foot when you're, when you're all the way forward. Okay. So once again, from White Crane, turn your hands. One up, one down, swing, step, start moving forward, strike. I'll do it from the other side. Okay, so turn your hands, Sw swinging one up, one down, step. One to the shoulder, one brushes, and strike. 
than me. Are there any questions? Okay, so let's do it from single width. Okay, we're going to do single whip, raise hands, white crane, and left brush knee. So, same direction as you. So, I'm here. Okay, raise hands, shift right, turn the left foot to the corner, shift to the left, circle your arm. Root the right heel and close. White crane spreads its wings. Turn your arms, pull down, circle, step and close, turn, step and open. Left brush knee, turn your hands, swings, that one to the shoulder, one uh, brush out and strike. Okay, let's that. Let's do that a couple more times because I like to do um, them all together since we don't often get as much practice on raise hands and white crane. Yes, question, Maria? Oh, uh, no, I just wanted to practice on the, on the left hand, I can't see very well. So when you, is it? On the le yeah. left hand. Yeah, right. Okay, so if I'm doing it on this side, can you see better? Here. Okay, that's yes, right. Okay, so what happens is I'm turning. Can you see this palm is facing that way, uh -huh. then up and press down. Okay. Then I'm brushing out and then coming back to the original position. Okay. 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 Thank you. Okay. Uh, let's do that again. Okay. So you're here at White Crane. You turn your hands. So this, the palm is facing me, this, the palm is facing 12 o'clock, okay? Then one up, one down, swing, step, brush, strike. Okay? So there's not any particular rule on where the hands will face because I'm dyslexic. So when I look at you, I have to think about front back. Uh, okay, so so um, the only reason why I'm saying that your your palm is at your face uh -huh. is that I if I do it from this side, you can see better. So I started here. I'm just saying turn your palm over, and the only reason I say that is. So that when you swing, your palm is easily facing out, right? If it starts here, it's easy to get it facing out. So you were here, you turn it, and then okay, that you makes swing sense. it out. Makes okay, sense. thank you. So, so you're basically, when I say turn your hands, you're just getting ready for the next move. Remember when I when we had white crane uh, uh, from raise hands, I had you turning your hands here so that you were ready to pull down, right? This is the same principle. You're here and you're turning your hands so that you're ready to swing step. Okay. Okay, so, you know, it's like a getting ready type thing. All right? Yes. So let's try it again from single whip, okay? So we're at single whip. 
Raise hands and step forward. Shift right. Turn the left foot to the corner. Circle your arms. Pull in the right foot. Root the right heel and come together. White grain spreads its wings. Turn your hands. Pull down. Circle. Step and close. Turn. Step and open. Left brush knee, turn your hands, swing, step, brush, strike. How did that go? Fine. Okay, good. Anybody else, any questions? Yes, no? Okay, let's do it. Um, a couple of times from the beginning, and then we will close class. Okay, so I'm going to turn around. Okay, feet shoulders width apart, head up, tailbone down, hands by your sides, prepare. Opening. Turn your hands, palms facing back, raise them up to shoulder level, float them down, leading with your elbows, come down almost to the bottom. Grasp the bird's tail, left ward off, shift left, turn right, all the way on the right, step and close, swing, pull and shift weight. Right brush knee, uh, I mean, uh, um, right ward off, shift right. Turn the left foot to the corner, all the way to the left, pull in, step and close, right ward off. Roll back, turn your arms, to the corner, come back to the other corner as you shift weight back. Press, pull in the right, attach the left and expand forward. Push, square up your shoulders, flatten your hands. Come back over a ball, hands in front of your chest, push forward to shoulder level. Single width. Shift weight back as you extend your arms. Turn and pull. Press down as you release the left foot. Ward off with the left, hook hand with the right. Standing ward off, step, deflect, strike. Raise hands and step forward. Shift right. Turn the left foot to the corner. Shift left, circle your arms, root your right heel and close. White crane spreads its wings. Turn your hands, pull down, circle, step and close, turn, step and open. Left brush knee. Turn your hands, swing, step, brush, strike. Okay, how are you doing in terms of getting the coordination? Pretty good, right? Yes. Okay, let's do it a couple more times and We'll see how we do. Okay, prepare. Open. Hands facing back, come up to shoulder level, float down, almost to the bottom. Grasp the bird's tail, ward off left. Shift left, turn right all the way to the right, 
step and close, swing, up, pull, down, shift, flip. Right word up, shift right, turn left foot to the corner, pull with the left, word off with the right, step and close, right word up. Roll back. Roll, turn your hands to the corner. Come back to the other corner as you shift weight. Press, pull in the right, attach the left and expand forward. Push, square up your shoulders, flatten your hands, come back over a ball, hands in front of your chest, push forward to shoulder level. Single whip, shift weight back, extend your arms, turn and pull, press down as you release the left, hook hand with the left, hook, uh, hook hand with the right, ward off with the left, standing ward off, step, deflect, strike. Raise hands and step forward, shift right, Turn the left foot to the corner. Circle your arms. Pull in the right. Root the right heel and come together. White crane spreads its wings. Turn your hands. Pull down. Circle your arms. Step and close. Turn. Step and open. Left brush knee, turn your hands, swing, step, brush, strike. Okay, are there any questions? The, uh, the important thing in terms of the uh, swinging of both hands is that you, you switch your hands, okay? So this hand facing me and this hand is that you want to make sure that everything happens at the same time, okay? So when you're here, you're turning your hands, swing, step. When this hand comes to the shoulder, this hand is out and your weight has started shifting forward. When this hand comes down, you're striking. So make sure that your hands your body turning and your weight shifting all happen at the same time. So in the direction you would be doing it, you're here, you're turning your hands, you're, you're circling, one up, one down, step, one out and the other one comes to the shoulder, your weight is halfway now and your foot is flat. Then as you come back and strike, you bend knee. So make sure that you don't end up bending your knee all the way at the end. That's a common problem. So very often what happens is people come like this and then they, um, here, they come here and they swing step and then they shift all the way at the end. So even though they step and here they flatten their foot, but they did not start shifting weight. You see that? You have to start shifting weight and finish. So don't hold back your weight till the very end, okay? 
It should be all progressive. Okay? Yeah. Hard <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know it's hard to do because you have so many things moving. You I have to be you're, you're the... moving your waist. You're moving. <laughs> no, it's, you're up. <laughs> it's a yes? it's a different way. I just discovered I was I'm dividing the movement up wrong. <laughs> <laughs> and in instead of sweeping, I I was doing the sweep as I punch. Where oh. instead I'm sweeping across as this hand prepares. Yes. yes. And so I was too early with this instead right. of getting it out and then dropping down as I punch. I had it divided up completely wrong. Yeah, that's it's, so I got to practice. <laughs> <laughs> so if I do it toward you, so yeah. it's here. Okay. Yeah, I'm turning my hands. I'm swing step. And then as my hand comes to the shoulder, I'm sweeping out yeah. and striking as this hand comes down. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> no, I, I got it. I was running it together in a funny way. <laughs> well, uh, one of the reasons why I like to break it up, even though I don't want you to do it broken up, right. is that I want you to coordinate the hand and the foot at the right spot, you right. know? So that's right. the story. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thank okay. you. Okay, I'm glad. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, just practice, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, if there aren't any questions, let's do it one more time and then we'll close class. How about that? Prepare. Head up, tailbone down, hands by your sides. Opening. Palms back, raise your arms to shoulder level and float them back down, leading with your elbows down, almost to the bottom. Grasp the bird's tail, left ward off. Shift left, turn right, all the way to the right. Step and close, turn and open. Right ward off, shift right, left foot goes to the corner. All the weight goes to the left, pull in, step and close, right ward off. Roll back, turn your arms to the corner, shift weight back to the other corner. Press, pull in the right, attach the left and expand forward. Push, square up your shoulders, flatten your hands, come back over a ball, hands in front of your chest and push to shoulder level. Single whip, extend your arms as you shift your weight back, turn and pull all the way around. Press down, release the left foot. Ward off with the left, hook hand with the right. Standing ward off. Deflect, strike. Raise hands and step forward. Shift right. Turn the left foot to the corner. Circle your arms, pull in the right foot. Root, root the right heel and close. White crane spreads its wings. Turn your hands, pull down, shift your weight back, circle your arms, step and close, turn, step and open. Left brush knee, turn your hands, swing, step, uh, rush, strike. Okay. 
Well, thank you for coming to class. And uh, I have to remind you that uh, we had discontinued the 5.30 review for tomorrow um, because we didn't have enough attendance. So I will try to get Mike to put up my video and I will see you next week. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you, Rita. You're welcome. How many, times, how many times does the average student have to take section one? Oh, <laughs> uh, you know, you know, people take section one lots of times because you always learn new things, you know, yeah. when you look at the details and it recurs so often, you know, in the second and third uh, sections that you find out that uh, sometimes when you first learn it, you just get the end positions and you kind of muddle through. But then as you take it more often, you think more about, well, what were the in-between in positions, you know? Yeah, right. And, and, that's, and that's what you learn when you take it over again. Yeah, I know. So if Mike, uh, you know, we'll tape it, I'll be good because it's hard to practice alone. Yeah, yeah. To say what to move right now. Yeah, <laughs> well, that's why I try to practice a few times so that, you know, if you do uh, look at the tape, then it's easier for you to follow. Okay, well, thank okay. you. Okay, <laughs> thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs> thank you.